Have you ever considered how much water your latest interaction with an AI system might have used? It's a thought that might not cross our minds, but behind the scenes, artificial intelligence has a significant water footprint. This might come as a surprise, but every time we interact with AI technologies, there's a hidden water cost involved. These AI systems, like the popular ChatGPT, require cooling processes to function, and these processes, along with the power plants generating their electricity, consume substantial amounts of water. As AI models become larger and more sophisticated, their thirst for resources, including water, rises. Consider this. Research indicates that training a model like GPT-3 can result in the direct and indirect consumption of millions of liters of water. That's a lot of H2O. The next time you interact with an AI, remember it's not just electricity that's being used, it's also water. Training models like GPT-3 can lead to the consumption of millions of liters of water. This might seem odd to hear, but the reality is that the thirst of AI is not limited to data. It extends to water as well. You see the massive data centers that power AI models require cooling, and that cooling process involves water. Similarly, the power plants that generate the electricity to run these data centers also consume water, mostly due to evaporation in cooling towers. The water toll of AI is not a static figure. As AI technology grows in sophistication, so does its water footprint. Larger, more complex models demand more resources and hence, more water. And it's not just about the water used directly. The evaporation of water during cooling affects fresh water sources, impacting cities, agriculture, and ecosystems. The thirst for water in training AI models is a growing concern for sustainability and environmental impact. Interacting with AI systems for queries or code generation also results in additional water evaporation. You might be surprised at just how thirsty these interactions can be. Consider this. Popular AI systems like ChatGPT see millions of interactions daily. Each one of these interactions, while seemingly insignificant on its own, adds up to a significant water footprint. The water isn't directly used in the interaction process, of course. Instead, it's consumed in the cooling processes of the servers that power these systems. Each search, each request, each generated piece of code, they all require computational power, and that power generates heat which in turn needs to be cooled. These cooling processes, while necessary for the efficient functioning of AI systems, result in substantial water evaporation. It's a hidden cost that we don't often consider when we marvel at the capabilities of AI. Each interaction with an AI system contributes to a more significant amount of water usage than you might have imagined. The water impact of AI doesn't end at training models and interactions. Let's consider the manufacturing processes of AI hardware, the creation of servers, chips, and other components used in AI systems involves a substantial water footprint. Each microchip produced requires an astonishing amount of water, primarily for cleaning and cooling purposes. And let's not forget about the servers that house these chips. Their production is also water-intensive. Unfortunately, the exact numbers are shrouded in mystery, as there's a lack of public data. However, experts in the field unanimously agree on one thing. The environmental footprint of AI technology, especially in terms of water usage, is substantial. This hidden water consumption, coupled with the water usage in training AI models and their interactions, contributes to the significant water impact of AI. It's an aspect of artificial intelligence we mustn't overlook in our quest for technological advancement. The manufacturing of AI hardware is another hidden water consumer in the world of AI technology. As AI models grow in size and complexity, their water requirements also increase. With the development of larger models like GPT-4 on the horizon, the water consumption of AI technology is set to rise significantly. Let's not forget, this isn't just about direct water usage. The indirect impact on our freshwater sources due to the evaporation caused by cooling processes is a critical consideration. Our cities, agriculture, and ecosystems depend on these sources, and they're being squeezed by the thirst of AI. So, how do we square this circle? The answer lies in developing AI technology sustainably, consciously tracking and reducing the water and energy used in AI model training and deployment. Companies like Microsoft are already making strides in this direction, but there's still a long way to go. The challenge lies in balancing the advancement of AI technology and its environmental footprint, particularly its water usage. It's a tall order, but one we must strive to fill for a sustainable future.